Well, that looks like it's doing great for second crop. Hey, good afternoon. I wanted to catch this very special opportunity. Uh, Wilson is going to take his grandpa Fink for a ride on the Ford um, with our little people carrier up to Wilson's garden where he's growing sweet corn and he gave me some space to do some winter squash and watermelon. May you go yet? Question is, may you go yet? May I go there? Sure, but let's get Grandpa. Let's show everybody Grandpa Fink. You need to wave Grandpa Fink. Okay, onward. <laughs> Make sure everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing, right, Trix? Right, Trixie? That's a good girl. You're a good puppy. Yeah, it's a good puppy. Okay, so we're up here in Wilson's garden, an example of some of the winter squash. I can't tell you which one this is right now, but uh, this is one variety, which did not germinate as well as the second variety, which we had much better luck with germination and they're just a quicker growing I believe one of them is a Hubbard type, and one maybe more of a butternut type. Yeah, I've got a third type too that I need to get planted down in our other garden. So this has all been quite an experiment this year to see if we can sell some things. And then off in the distance. You can see Wilson's plantings. Um, obviously that upper left is his first planting, and then the second planting. Then you can see a giant pumpkin plant. He's got six or seven blossoms there with one small plant coming, and I think he intends to leave all the blossoms rather than focusing on one super fruit. And then he's got a small planting of just some decorative Indian corn. We're going to steal some of this really nice soil uh, to take down to help out, try to help out my blueberry plants. I think I made a mistake and planted them in pure peat in a container and it's almost, I think, a little too acidic. So we're going to join some some of the sandier soil in with that. Um, here we have just a short row of watermelon plants coming up. They actually germinated quite nicely. I think one plant got taken out last night because somebody who was up here rototilling uh, was not f thinking about my artistic way of doing row cropping. Um, so he didn't realize that these were here when he was rototilling. But anyway, no big deal because there are plenty of plants still here of watermelon. 
And up there in the distance, if you can see them, you have some bossies enjoying the shade of the trees, waiting for their turn to come in the barn. Grandpa was admiring this second crop alfalfa uh, that we did fertilize. I believe this was planted last fall, last August maybe. We're really thankful that that looks like it's doing great for second crop.